like to this is my name's Ron Jordan and I'd like to welcome you to uh, the video uh, this I haven't done many of these so hang in there with me uh, I've got some notes in that I want to cover but mostly this video is for those of you who have taken my class before and this will show you all of the changes that the church has made in family search during the last year or in 2020 we're going to try to cover all the major changes and any some little things that you might want to use you're welcome to uh, just go along with me uh, as i do it you can go ahead and try these things out if you've done them before that's great and if not maybe i can give you some ideas so we're going to cover four areas today uh, the first one is going to be uh, on memories and what the church has made on the various changes to the me memories area. Almost all of these are really pretty good improvements all the way around. So let's go. I'm going to go to Chrome. And <clears throat> I'm going to go up to Family Search. And when it comes up, let's click on Memories. And let's go to the gallery. Okay, give it a minute. Da, 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 da. Okay, in the gallery, what they have done is a neat, really neat thing on albums. You can see under my albums list at the left here, I've got a couple of albums. Uh, my grandfather and one of our grandkids. Let me click on Madison's album. And you can see I only have four pictures in there. But let's say I wanted to make this into a slideshow. If you go now to the menu, you can see at the very right, there's a slideshow. If I click on that, this little thing comes up and it says play the slideshow. And what it does, it shows each one of the pictures for a few seconds. And you can see Madison's real character. And walks you through it the way you have put them in. Now, when it finishes, you can then go you can close it replay it but you can also go up and click on share and that slideshow you can put on uh, a social media or you can email to somebody also let me show you you can go here and you can uh, record that and keep it in uh, the album section to play anytime you want to one way or another so that's kind of a neat feature uh, the slideshows are kind of interesting one day way or another. Okay, let me go. Let's go back to the gallery. And they've done something to pictures, a couple of different things. Uh, you can see as I move my mouse across each picture, a little check mark comes up that allows you to select that picture. Let me select this picture and this picture. And let's say I want those. I want those in a certain category. So then I can go to Actions and I can type a topic tag. So I can type in here, uh, let's say they're both from the same family. I can put in the Vasquez family, which is where they're from. I can add various topics to pictures. I can do one at a time or I can do a whole row of them just by selecting them. Then I can go back and uh, let's say I put a zillion other pictures in there and I want to find the ones that from the Vasquez family. All I have to do is go up and click on find. And when the menu comes up, and I give it a minute, you can search topic tags. So an easy way to find an individual people, individual person real quickly. And you do you can do more than one at a, at a time. Okay, let's go back to the gallery. Another thing some people have asked me over the years, and I said you can't do it, but now you can, is they want to add photos. So in case their house burns down or something like that, the pictures will still be on Family Search, but they don't want anybody to see them. And let's say this one right here. Uh, you just want to see those. You don't want anybody else. So I click that now. Go back to Actions. And I can go down to the 
on the menu and make it private where only I can see that picture. So it gives you an opportunity then to, <clears throat> uh, so it's you can create many pictures just for yourself or, or persons that get into your uh, gallery if you allow them to. Okay, so that's kind of a neat feature. Now, the other thing, and let me show you this, is let's say you want to find something, find some pictures or documents on a family name, as an example. And if you go to the find category now, they have cleaned that up. They now, and let me type in and show you, J-O-R-D, let's do my last name. And watch how fast it comes up. They have got a really, really good a search engine in here now to find the memories and look at they found 10,000 results in a mere few seconds and so they've improved uh, the uh, searching capacity they've done about 10,000 results you can type in any words here you can do boolean algebra uh, anything like that and you can see all of the Jordans they bring up and you just have to go through and see if that's anybody in your family one way or another so there's a lot of really good updated changes on the memories and i think uh, you go in there and play with it on yourself and see some different things that uh, can be useful for you okay the next section i want to look at is searching and some new features that they put in the search so let's go back to the family history let me go up to the top, <clears throat> get out of here, and let's go look at the search menu. If I click on that, let me show you some things on searching now. If you go down and click on records, and say you're going to search for a person, and you need some information on a certain person, uh, now what comes up, you can put that person's name in here. And let me just put uh, my mom and now besides putting her name in that she was born with you can click alternate names and let's see she was known for let's let's just a uh, silly so now when you click on the search button you have alternate names so it's kind of a neat thing a lot of people have alternate names that or nicknames that uh, they have and they use that more than their name that they were originally born with now you can search on those names and it gives you uh, an opportunity to find more records and more information so that's kind of a cute neat little feature okay now let's go back to search again and Family Search has added a whole new section. Now, let me explain a little bit about this one. The church has about 200 teams out there every day uh, recording records. And when these teams record a record, then they upload that information, it's all digitally, to Family Search in Salt Lake and they add it to their computer section. Now, these are just images. These are records that they're copying from churches or any other places. And if you look over here, you can see how many images are coming into Salt Lake, uh, how quickly they are and how many per second. Now, these are not indexed. When you go into Family Search and click on records, and and do a search those are images are indexed meaning they have been taken off and put on the computer in a certain order and cleaned up and you can search people by name and so forth that is about 20 percent of the world's records 80 percent of the world's records have not been indexed and just stored this is what you're looking at on images so you cannot search a person's name because it hasn't been indexed but you can search a place 
So you have to know something about that person or records in a certain area. Say you know that uh, your family had some people in El Paso, Texas. You could put in El Paso, Texas, then it, you can look in certain areas and uh, it's a little more challenging to find records this way because they can be in any order depending on the individuals that made the records. Now, there is a lot of videos on YouTube explaining this. Let me uh, show you the or yeah, show you the one that I would recommend on YouTube. Okay, this uh, there are quite a few searching images on YouTube now. Right now, which is in January of 2021, this is the one I like the most. It's pretty simple. The lady has done a really good job. All you need to do is to go up here and type in this address and it will take you to that video and you can go through there instead of me spending some time on here she does a lot better job than that but it's if a lot of you are stuck or you have some brick walls and you know some information about your ancestors and you want to know more this is a good resource for you now okay okay uh Okay, so images are a little more difficult, but here again, you may be able to find it. Some other things they've done in the search, which I don't need to show you, but just kind of tell you about, is they've uh, simplified the standardization. When you put in an address now, uh, it will come up automatically, uh, the standard version and not the other, not just any kind of versions or have you try to chase it down. Uh, multiple people you can look for, is very good when you do a search now before you had to go back to the original search and change things you do not have to now you can just uh, correct it right off the bat one way or another oh there one is one other activity that is kind of neat let's go back to search if you're in the research wiki and you don't understand the wiki a whole bunch they have added a new software which is called guided research and if you look right here if you click on guided research it walks you through step by step what you need and how what you should put in how you should do it and guides you step by step uh, once you pick a certain place or that that you want to look for uh, records okay if uh, any of you have questions on this stuff just give me a call or email me I'd be glad to answer it one way or another okay uh, let's go look at another section now active okay let's look at activities and what this is is a whole new section that has been added so we go to back to family search if you look up here now, you can see there's a whole new menu. Click on activities, and I'm gonna, you can see all the different ones you can look at, but I'm gonna click on all activities. Um, these, they added, started adding those early in 2020, and they just increased it all the way around. Okay, they've gone ahead and kind of robbed some from other websites that were, uh, popular some other activities if you look on where am I from if you click on that this is very similar to uh, roots mapper it will show you a world map and where all your ancestors come from and here you can found number of generations you can see on mine uh, most of my ancestors came from England or Germany if you click on there it will bring it up and you can see what towns and where it, when you click on the two or three it's there it will make it bigger and show you where those people are uh, here's a picture of one 
gives you a lot of information, very similar to Roots Mapper, like I said. Uh, you can play around with uh, different things. Um, I'll let you play around with it. Uh, but it's kind of a real cute thing all the way around. Okay, let's go back. And the next one that they added just recently is Famous Relatives. Very similar to Relative Finder, but a lot more, a lot more limited. But if you see, they find people you are related to. So if you look up here, here's the leaders, uh, vendors in science, entertainers, uh, church leaders, and so forth. If I look at entertainers, um, let's go with John Wayne. If I click on him, it will show me <clears throat> here's my line. And if I grab this and pull it and go up ah, and bring it down, bring it down, da, 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 da. my 10th cousin, they put that in now, didn't have that before. And here's our common ancestors. And then you can go back down his side and see how you're related. And you can always right click it and print it out. But they've done a really good job on all of these. Uh, up here at the top, you can look at church leaders, church pioneers, and you can see who you're related to. It's kind of a really kind of fun activity one way or another. So if I go back and look at this, they have a lot of other activities. There's all about me, which I think I've shown everyone before that have taken my classes. And I like this one. Uh, you can see I wasn't born in 1943. And if you scroll down, number of temples dedicated, baseball champions, Winterbeck's picture, la di da di da. I like this one here, gallon of gas. How much did it cost when I was born? 21 cents. Almost nobody has beaten me on that. But you can go find out all about you and the year that you were born. And it falls under church activities. I think this is a really good thing uh, for children or other people that want to supplement their family search. Uh, it's kind of just a, they put it all in one place. You don't have to jump all over the web like you did last time where I tried to take you to all these different sites. They've kind of uh, borrowed from all those sites and, and made it into a really good uh, section for individuals. Okay, last one. Okay, the last one is miscellaneous. And I'm going to jump all over the place on this one here so you can try to keep up with me. But let's go back to Family Search and look at some new menus and other things they've added. If you go up to the Family Tree and click on it, you can go down to the new section which is called My Contributions. And what this is, is what you have done on Family Search and how, how many changes you have made. And if you look on here, uh, you can see I added a photo to our granddaughter. And I did it in December, so forth. All these different things that I have done. You can go look and see uh, by year how many activities you've done. You can see in some of these years, not too great. Some I did a whole bunch. Um, and a lot of other items that you can do. You can look at private. I don't have any private people, but you can look at private people. But this is what you can do on my uh, contributions. Kind of a cute little thing. While we're here, let's go all the way to the bottom of the page, any page that you do on Family Search, and let's go to the blog. And what they have in the blog now is a cute little way to display your family tree. Uh, but what you have to do, you have to search the blog. So if you go up to search the blog and type in family tree templates, hit your search button. 
And what will come up is <clears throat> templates that you could download. Here they are right here. Templates you can templates you can download uh, to put your tree on and make it kind of cute. Here's one here. You can put in names. This one here you can put in pictures. And uh, you can print these out. Anyways, they have quite a few of them. And make your tree look real cute to display it one way or another. It's just kind of a really neat little feature. Okay? Okay, let me go back to family tree. I'm going to go to my tree. And I want to look on a person's page. Okay. Uh, let me go pick on my grandfather. And I want to go to the person page. Now, before on a person page, when you went to a person's page, on the right-hand side, they had a little thing right there where follow is that used to say watch. And those are the people you were watching. Well, you're no longer watching them. You're following them. So if you want to follow this person and all of the changes that are made, uh, just click on here and it will turn, the star will turn. And then you can go up here to the menu, which is right above him, and click on following. And it will show you all of the people that you're following and if there's been any changes made to that individual. And it's a nice clean. You can see I'm following 10 people. There's no changes on any of those since the last time I went in. Uh, you can look at different options and how to sort them and so forth. Uh, you can view it by different things. Go ahead and play with that. You kind of get a feel for that one way or another. But for those of you that want to watch people, you no longer watch them, you follow them. Okay. Okay. Uh, they've added some things to the... Uh, well, let's go to the tree. I'll show you. <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to do is look at, not the landscape view, but I'm going to look at the fan chart view. And here it is, my fan chart view. And if you can look at the top up here, I can now go from four to seven generations. I can also look at the family lines. I can look at the birth countries. And at the very right over here, it will have a uh, legend that you can see. Most of the people here are from Germany, United Kingdom, and some United States. I can look who has sources and who doesn't and how many. Stories, photos, and so forth. And if there's any ordinance to be done, uh, what, what, uh, uh, what needs to be done? Let me go to seven generations just out of curiosity and see if anybody needs ordinances. Yeah, I've got a couple of people that I could do ordinances for. They're in green. Okay, kind of. You can do. Uh, you can also under options up here at the top right. You can print that out. So you can print it out. You can print it out in color. It gives you a lot of different uh, changes that you can make one way or another. Okay. Uh, okay. If you go to your name and you click on it at the right hand side top under settings, you click on settings. They have cleaned up the menu so it's much easier to follow. This is all your account information and the preferences that you made. If you looked at this before, it was really hard to follow. It didn't make any sense. And here, it's really nice and clean. You can edit data. Lots of really nice things. Notifications, the same way. Makes sense. How do you want to be notified? Uh, permissions. Uh, what you uh, or are allowing other people to look at. Some other uh, sites that I am following. It just is nice and clean, looks really good one way or another. Okay, An another addition which most people will find very uh, refreshing is they've cleaned up merging. 
most of individuals are afraid on merging to merge people and it was really kind of hard to follow let me go see if i can remember uh, i did find one other person that uh, de -do, de -do, de -do. i think it was here ah here it is margaret butterworth i'm going to go to her person page she uh, has a duplicate on there, and let me show you how they've cleaned it up. Okay, you can see the possible duplicate. Now, if I click on it, it gives you a lot of different options, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, before when you did merging, your tree and the information on your tree was on the left hand side that was completely different than any other records now they've moved that to the right hand side and it's cleaned up it looks 10 times better very easy to follow uh, and they've kind of taken some things from ancestry where uh, you can say is this a match or is it not a match if i said yes continue then it's going to give me the option of merging those two and merging information. If you look here, you can see how clean this is if you want to replace the names or any of the information. And then I could keep going on number, but I want to use this as an example down the line. But the merging process is really easy to follow now. And uh, shouldn't be as challenging as you did before try it out if you get a chance one way or another uh, one of the things i forgot to show you on following let me go back to following on people and so if, if you look at people you're following you can put labels on those individuals now and let's say you wanted all the individuals who lived in a certain place. You can add that label on there. Let me show you. And you can create your own label, so forth. Uh, so if you then want to go back, you can find those people that have a certain label uh, and put them together or be able to find them very easily. Okay. There has been a lot of other little changes uh, that you won't see too much when you do a search now. If you want to add something to the search later on before you had to go back to the uh, beginning of that search, now you do not have to do that. They've sp sped up some of the uh, searches one way or another uh, to make it faster. They've cleaned up almost all of the menus to make them look easier to follow and um, what should I say easier to follow and uh, simpler for you to do one way or another okay if you have any questions on any of these uh, let me give you my email and phone number uh, so you can get a hold of me okay this is my email number and phone number and i'd be glad to assist you on any of these i have not used them extensively i have used them enough to be familiar with them but some of these i have not got into great detail i hope this was helpful to you uh, appreciate you uh, listening to me and putting up with me have fun